Today we have part two, where we're gonna measure the 1 dB compression point of the amplifier. Let's go! So guys, to measure the 1 dB compression point of this amplifier, we're gonna use the same setup we used it in the last video. We have here the spectrum analyzer, a signal generator. Here we have the power supply that's supplying 12 volts to the amplifier. But first, let's try to understand what is the 1 dB compression point in an amplifier. When we are dealing with an amplifier and we plot the gain characteristic of the amplifier in a, in a dB scale here, so we have dB input power to dB output power. The transfer characteristic will have a slope of 1. And we can see it here, gain of 5. So with negative 10 dB of input power, we have negative 5 dB of output power. With negative 9 dB of input power, we have negative 4 dB of output power. So as the scale here is logarithm, we're gonna have a slope of 1. One thing we need to have in mind is that a radio frequency amplifier is modeled here by a small signal behavior. So this behavior here of the ideal amplifier is from the linearized point of view of a small signal amplifier. The 1 dB compression point parameter of an amplifier is related with the transition from small signal to large signal behavior. We need to have in mind that a practical amplifier have limited output power. So in some point, the amplifier starts to saturate and to compress the output. The 1 dB compression point is the point where the amplifier gain is reduced by 1 dB because of compression. So in this example here, we can see that the amplifier behaves in small signal region until we reach something like negative 7 dB, negative 8 dB of input power, and at this point the output power of the amplifier starts to compress. When the ideal curve and the practical curve becomes 1 dB apart, we have the 1 dB compression point of the amplifier. In a practical point of view, the output power becomes compressed because now the power is going to harmonics of the signal as the amplifier is behaving in large signal and the small signal model cannot be applied anymore. We're gonna measure the 1 dB compression point using the spectral analyzer and after we're gonna see the non-linearities and the large signal behavior using a real-time oscilloscope. I configured the signal analyzer to 100 meg because this frequency is close to the frequency I'm gonna use the amplifier. Here in the spectrum analyzer, I center the output here on the center of the screen and it, we're gonna sweep the input power and we're gonna see when the amplifier gain drops by 1 dB. I will manually sweep the input power and I'm gonna annotate here on the notebook the output power so we can calculate the gain at each step. So let's go. Negative 25 dB, negative 24, negative 23, negative 22, negative 21 and let's go. Now we have a table of input power, output power and the delta power that is the gain of the amplifier. 9 dB is exactly what we get on the last video and as the input power is sweeped to a higher power we can see that the gain starts to be compressed and you can see that here at an input power of negative 14, negative 15 we have 1 dB of difference from the starting point here. As we started with 9.4 dB of gain and here the compression point is about 8.6, 8.2, I made the mean of these two output powers here. 1 dB compression point looked from the output of the amplifier is negative 6.1 dB. And we're gonna see in the, in the next video that is very close to the third order interception point plus 10 dB. And this is common behavior for linear amplifiers. In the next video, we're gonna learn what is the third order intercept. It's very clear here that if I try to put more power at the input of the amplifier, the output will not grow anymore. In a real application, it's really important to use the amplifier well below the 1 dB compression point so we have a linear and small signal operation of the amplifier. We can see what happens with the signal when we start to approach the 1 dB compression point using an oscilloscope. So, we are here at negative 20 dB of input and we can see that the signal still looks like a sign and, and the second and the third harmonic are almost 50 dB below the fundamental. I will start to increase the input level and we're gonna start to approach the 1 dB compression point. From the input perspective, the 1 dB compression point is negative 12 dB that we measured here, but we can see that when we start to approach it, here we, we are at negative 18 dB, the harmonic content of the signal starts to increase very rapidly. And as we approach here, 
we are approaching the 1db, the theoretical 1db compression point, and we can see that now the signal is heavily distorted and we are entering large signal behavior. Look at this. Now the signal is totally compressed here on top and we are entering large signal behavior. At signals close or above the 1db compression point, our linear small signal model cannot be applied anymore. So guys, thank you for watching the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, please subscribe to the channel, give a thumbs up, send to your friends and see you in the next video.